Behind me is the painting Blue Beautiful Skies, and this painting was inspired by a dear friend of mine's courageous battle with cancer. For me, I think this process began with our long friendship and our love for each other and our passion about art and its role in our lives. The sheer size of the painting dictated sort of the way it was constructed. When I visited the space, I saw that the, the wall was at least 32 feet long and eight, and eight feet tall or more. And the idea of constructing a, a gigantic canvas seemed kind of ridiculous to me. So the, the thought was how could I somehow translate this image into a, uh, a piece that I could easily, um, for one, do and to transport and, and install in the space. Oh, this is such a dramatic placement uh, by Paul uh, work. Uh, when he described it to me, I knew that we needed to have it in a prominent place. And so this is in a hallway that it has visual accessibility to people that are walking in our grand lobby. And so the blue skies will just uh, act as a magnet to bring people into that hallway, which leads into our conference center, which will be a source of additional art placements there, as well as an opportunity for both professional and public education. The idea of creating a very traditional style painting um, that would be installed in this, this highly contemporary new facility seemed, seemed to um, confuse me a little bit. So I tried to push myself to see how I could create a very traditional iconic landscape with all the, the feelings and the colors and the tones, but in a very um, contemporary style. And I did that by gridding it off and, and actually removing pieces of the landscape to create a more you know, like a highly contemporary version of a very traditional subject matter. As I was constructing the idea of this painting, the, the thought of creating a, a really large scale landscape defined sort of what I was looking for. And the idea from Annie's text message that the, uh, the Blue Beautiful Skies was, was her future, that idea came to me that I could create a very large sweeping landscape, yet I had to find what that landscape would be. The idea came from OSU, the Waterman Farms, that actually contributes to cancer-free products. It's uh, been well established over the years that art has a therapeutic benefit. Uh, and so it was critically important for us to have high quality art in this building. We want to do everything we possibly can to help our patients. Art plays a role in that. This work represents the power that art has to trigger change, to elevate people, and to motivate them to make a difference.